Hello, my name is Arvind Krishnan and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we are going to look at shell meshing in Solarworx simulation, a linear static FEA study, and in Solarworx plastics. So in uh, an FEA study, we're going to, I'm going to quickly create a linear static analysis. We have the option to create a shell mesh. A shell mesh will result in a faster solve time without compromising on the accuracy of your study. And you can use a shell mesh when your part has a length to thickness ratio greater than 10. And um, it basically creates a surface mesh and it calculates the stresses across the thickness of your model. A shell mesh has six degrees of freedom. To create a shell mesh, I'm going to right click on my part and define the shell by selecting faces. I'm going to select all the outside faces and specify a thickness for the shell. You do need to offset so that the software knows which surface you have selected. Um, if you just toggle between the different options, you're going to see that this bottom surface option is going to perfectly align the inside and the outside faces. Now, whenever I, once I define a shell mesh, whenever I apply any fixtures or loads, it's all going to be on the same outside faces. I'm going to quickly apply a mesh control on that face. And I'm going to define my mesh and Currently, the Render 3D option is turned on. You can see that both the inside and the outside faces have the mesh refinement. If I turn that Render Shell Thickness option off, this is what the software sees. Quickly, looking at mesh details, we have very few elements and nodes, which is a good thing. So this is what this is shell meshing in Solvix simulation. I'm going to quickly switch to plastics. So I'm going to turn the add-in on and I'm going to start a shell mesh in plastics. In Solvix plastics, a shell mesh is mandatory as compared to being optional in a FEA study. Um, even a solid mesh needs a shell mesh to start with. I'm going to select the part um, that I want to mesh and hit the right arrow. If I need any mesh refinements, I'm going to select specific faces and apply that first. Once I do that, I can mesh my model. One thing that you would notice is that mesh refinement is not on both sides. And also, I have currently meshed both sides of my model. And this is the fundamental difference between the two. In Solarworks Plastics, all the outer and inner faces or all the surfaces are meshed and whatever happens through the thickness is interpolated based on the two. The flow is interpolated between um, across the thickness of your part as compared to only having a surface in an FEA study. That's the major difference between the two. Once you mesh the part, go ahead and hit the right arrow. Um, we have some additional options to change our mesh in localized regions like inserting specific nodes or adjusting a given node. Once you do all that, we can, can hit the green check mark and that ends our meshing process. Once again, this is Arvind Krishnan at Go Engineer.